this is Daniel Rego from Demonic Resurrection and you're watching me on Fatado's TV. I'm currently playing uh, the PRS Paul Allender SE guitar which uh, from what I've played from all the PRS SE models I've played is by far my favorite of the entire range. The first thing that struck me about this guitar was uh, its sonic versatility because um, it's got two pickups, uh, two humbucker pickups, the EMG 81 TW and the EMG 89. But the cool thing about both these pickups is that they both can be run in single coil mode with uh, the push pull knobs here. So um, the tone control can be pulled to switch the bridge humbucker into single coil mode and the volume knob can be pulled to switch the neck humbucker into single coil mode. So for, the, for me this meant uh, a wider range of tones I could get from the guitar, right from really heavy and thick solid uh, humbucker tones for rhythms and for fat, fat sounding leads and uh, more, more bell like glassy single coil tones that were very useful for blues music. Also the neck humbucker has a very nice warm sound that I found quite useful for jazz with the tone control rolled all the way down. Uh, I find the guitar really comfortable to play uh, for my style of playing and the way I hold the guitar. Uh, I think that's primarily because of something that's special to PRS guitars, a fairly wide nut which I because I feel I have fairly large palms so that lets me stretch quite easily around the fretboard. At the same time, uh, the neck is the wide thin neck curve which means it's got a fairly solid feel but still not too thick which I think is really comfortable for me. And at the same time, the fretboard radius is 10 inches around which means it's a fairly round fretboard which I find more comfortable for chordal work because I use a lot of chords as well besides lead playing. So I find the guitar really comfortable to play and it sounds great. I also think this is a really good looking guitar from the flamed uh, maple veneer top to the flying bat inlays that they have on the fretboard which I think is a really cool classic touch and this is the only guitar that PRS makes that has this particular inlay. So I think it's a really good looking guitar as well besides how great it sounds and feels. I picked PRS guitars uh, because of uh, some of the values that the company uh, embodies that I really relate to. Uh, first of all, something that impressed me right from the start about PRS guitars is the quality of workmanship and craftsmanship they put into the guitars. Uh, right from the lowest end uh, SE series to the highest end American Maryland made guitar, you'll find the same standards of quality in terms of workmanship, craftsmanship and materials, especially the wood qualities that uh, PRS likes to put in their guitars. So I really relate to that uh, ethic of the company. Secondly, the company is quite focused uh, to making guitars that are quite versatile across uh, various styles. Even though uh, PRS's uh, designs tend to be uh, tend to stick to their fairly uh, successful Custom 24 uh, model, I find uh, the versatility of uh, PRS guitars to be something that attracted me a lot, especially uh, the Paul Allender SE model that I play.